Okay, this should be the last video in the series about how to create an SPSS data set. Remember, we created, we named our variables, we labeled them, and then we coded them or set value labels for the, for the discrete variables. Okay, and then we decided whether they're nominal, ordinal, or ratio. Recall that if it's a ratio variable, there are no value labels. Okay, so once we did this, when we go to data view, then we see our variables. Okay, so again, this is the first question in your survey, second question, etc. So as you will recall, this is what it's eventually going to look like. The first person ate the lalau, ate the poi, and got a 4.0. This person ate the hamburger plate, didn't eat the poi, and got a 0.75 GPA, as you know from reading that. Okay, so we're just going to input it. So what you would do is you would take your first person, because you'd numbered all your surveys, and you'd just go across from each of your questions. So that person was a 1 on that question. They were a 1 because they ate the poi and they had a 4.0. Show you something that's kind of cool. You go over here and you go value labels. See how it changed like that? So now when you input a number, I'm going to put in the number 2 because this person ate the sunfish. But look what happens when I push enter. See how that shows up? That's kind of cool. So they ate the poi. So it should show up as a yes. I put in a 1. So depends on how you want to do it. I like it like this because then you don't, you know, you know if you make a coding error. Okay, this person ate the pasta salad. They didn't eat the poi. So they get a zero. And they had a, what is it, a 1.2 GPA, I believe. And then, just double check real quick. Yeah, 1.2. Last person ate four, which was the hamburger plate. Didn't eat the poi. So there are no, there are zero and then they had a 0.75 GPA. So that's your entire data set. Okay, you would save it, and you're gonna send it to me. Once you send it to me, you could, then you have a backup of this in the cloud, on the Lima cloud, if you trust that. Um, I would personally keep all my hard copies of my surveys till I finish the class, but I'm just paranoid like that. Okay, so create your variables, then you input your data, so if you have we only had four people in three questions in our survey, but you'll have many questions going this way and many more people than four. Okay, so each person, you just take their survey and you go sideways like this. Okay.